Now we have, in my opinion, one of the coolest features about Sprout Pro, which is 3D. 3D comes in three different ways. So what I can do is either capture it as a snapshot or as a full 3D object. In this case, I'm gonna go for the full 3D capture. So in this case, I'll use one of our capture stages to place on. This sequence of black and white lines is used to capture the object. Obviously using the black lines to measure where the item sits and then helps to build that file from there. What it does is use our cameras at the top on here, include our Intel RealSense 3D camera, an infrared camera and a 14 megapixel webcam. All these images are added together to create the OBJ file you'll see at the end. As it's now completed our base model, what I will do is place our elephant on the map. So I press start to scan. What you'll start to see now is our six segments in a cycle. We refer to a cycle as to one full rotation around the capture stage. Each segment moves it a portion and gives us a different viewing angle, allowing us to stitch these images together. What it does with this product particularly is pick points of reference. So much like you take a photo with a panoramic photo camera, it uses bits of buildings to stitch together. What we do in our 3D program is we use the legs and trunk and ears as points of reference and it starts to build the file from these bits, expanding around. So what that means is, as you can see here, we're starting to get our elephant. Each section we go around, you start to see it starts to build a bit more up on each side. Now the scan is completed, I can move my elephant off at my capture stage. As you can see on here, this is our elephants. Obviously we've got the underside and every part of it matched in. From here, what I can do is enlarge it or move it around on either one of my screens. I can then also do some basic editing. So what I can do here is select different materials to show you what it's made out of. So I can remove the skin completely and show you basically the compound there. I can then choose to show you what it's made out of if I've made it out of, for example, sheet metal. And then change the color to gold. As we discussed earlier, it's an OBJ file. So what that means is I can then put that into things like Mesh Mixer, Maya, or Photoshop. This allows me to use it for animation, architecture, or other graphic design programs. What I can also then do is send it to a 3D printer. So here's an elephant that we've already 3D printed earlier. As you can see, it's a lovely scaled down version of our previous model. If you then want to take this and be a bit more creative, what you can do is take something like a human, man, elephant combination. What this is about is taking two objects we previously scanned in, slicing them off in the middle and building them both together. So what I'll do is I'll jump out of here. I'll open up one of our PowerPoint documents to show you one of our previously scanned items, which is our Rhino, showing in programs like Mesh Mixer, or Photoshop, or Maya, Blender, which is probably the most common for 3D development, as well as Tinkercad, which is a lovely thing for primary school education to get involved in. As you can see, our Rhino is in all of these and imported successfully, allowing us to edit it from there.